All right, you guys, I'm going to be making this like creamy tomato Parmesan mozzarella rigatoni dish. I've been heavy on the tomato and mozzarella lately, if you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, I'll write in the caption who I uh, based this recipe off of. Um, so let's get started. And my son, of course, is eating his capellini and uh, fra diavolo sauce. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have some uh, olive oil that heated up, so hopefully it heated up enough. And so uh, I'm going to put in some fresh garlic. Oh, yeah, it did. It has a sizzle. I, it took everything in me to peel and chop this garlic. I'm not going to lie. And I have an automatic chopper. No, manual. It's manual. My bad. Now I have some cherry tomatoes. Actually, they're a mixture of cherry and grape. Um, are they the same thing? No. Aren't grape ones bigger, or are they the same thing? Maybe. I don't know. So let's put those in. Now I'm going to add some tomato paste. Now we got some heavy cream. Basil. Oh, wait, no, this is parsley. It looks good now, but I wanted it, like, redder, so I'm putting more uh, tomato paste in. It's perfect. All right, you guys, so I got the drained uh, or strained rigatoni. Um, that makes it sound like it has a problem with somebody because it's strained. But, okay, so now I am going to transfer this wonderful goodness. Look at that. It's seeping in all the tomato, taking in all the tomato. And I'm going to pour it in here, but we aren't done. All right. Now the recipe calls for Parmesan, but this is all I have left, so I will put this in. But then, you know I've been on a fresh mozzarella kick lately. I bought this like a few days ago. I'm already halfway through, um, so I'm just going to put some of this on. I know it's a much different consistency than shredded uh, Parmesan, but you can't go wrong with these ingredients and then adding mozzarella. It's, it's still wonderful. Alright you guys, I'm going to add some salt, then some black pepper. You guys, that is dinner. It looks fantastic. 